Welcome back to another M Creator lore video. So today what we're going to be working on is the grass mechanics. Now we had a few things that I wanted to actually change in this file. So this is the update tick for the growth and um, you know overall uh, what we need to do is set it up for maybe like five seconds or so um, during the day. So um, at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. we want to run the script. So I'm going to be just limiting all the script to this and then making an if statement and then testing for the world time. So uh, there is a couple things that we need to do. We need to actually see if it is greater than and then we're going to set the ticks to zero. So if it's equal to or greater than zero and then we're going to set this to something like, I don't know, like um, 100 ticks or something like that. And that will give us about five seconds. So we want to make sure that's equal to or less than. So for about five seconds during the morning, it's going to grow the actual crops. Now what we want to do is we want to make a another uh, object. I haven't covered this block in the thing, but uh, it's called mod. And it's an operation. We're going to set that to 24,000. That's how many ticks are in a day. So we need to get the world time. And then what that's going to do is it's going to constantly run for 24 ticks and then it will cycle and auto convert. Once we've done that, we can put it onto an and statement and then that's good. All right, so testing in game, I am currently in the world and when we got here, there isn't any updates actually going on. Um, this is the world that we were using last episode. So I, I just want to see if uh, setting the time of day is, uh, well, Let's get the current time of day first. So we're going to see what kind of um, time it is. So it's over zero. So it's not going to, or over 100. So it's not going to actually do anything. So we're going to set this to zero. And we can kind of see some things start to grow. So it only lasts for a couple seconds, but it will be enough to grow the blocks um, over a period of time. So let's go ahead and try to zoom in on one of these blocks. Maybe we can do an aerial view and see if the, anything grows up here. So we'll set the time again. And you can kind of see that some of the blocks are updating. And that's perfect. That's what exactly what we want. So this will be a good enough mechanic for actually growing the, the bushes themselves. So I'm pretty happy with the mechanics. All right, so another thing that I wanted to kind of play around with is going into the caves and stuff like that. We don't actually have a lot in here and no ore, no anything like that. So we'll probably make ore today as well. So we'll start with that. So the first thing that I wanted to do was work with the texture. And I noticed that there's some shapes that are more prominent. And I want to make some coal to start with because, I mean the world is pretty blank there's no wood there's no anything really so we're going to try to get some sort of light source that we can actually get in there and we'll probably add some sort of uh, wood material or something like that maybe we can make the bush um, drop sticks or something when we destroy it so that might be an option so I wanted to kind of outline the the shape with the um, a lighter accent this should give it that 3d a feel that mojang started doing for their ores and stuff like that so i wanted to kind of play around with that a little bit i didn't want it too prominent but i also wanted it to kind of stand out too so i just kind of strategically place some of the pixels to kind of give it some highlights and stuff and then I tested it again and I was pretty happy with um, how it's turning out. Um, though there's still quite a uh, few different shades and stuff that need to be kind of filled out just so it works properly. So I'm going to test a few things. But I wanted to actually animate the texture as well so it kind of sparkles. So like glistens over the certain things. So what I'm, I'm actually doing right now is making... Um, a frame that is uh, about eight, uh, I think eight frames in total. Four are basically the default one. And then there is some four frames of basically glistening. And I didn't really know what I was doing at first. I needed to play around with the thing. It's hard to always see the animation. Now, if you have something like a Sprite, um, 
It's a paid for application. It would allow you to kind of see the animation and stuff like that and automatically export to that. But basically, for the free people that don't have the money for that kind of software, I, you can just prop it into the actual program uh, for mCreator for the animation thing and just kind of update it. And it will kind of show the process of how it's uh, animating. So there's a few different ones that are basically needed some work. I got some of them done and I was just going back and forth uh, to see um, basically how the um, things were. So I needed to update some of the uh, shapes and stuff like that. So I just basically copied over and then updated them and I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. But that bottom one is still a little bit of an issue. So had to play around with that one a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much good. I just need to update a couple more things and then it would be ready for use. And this is a lot better. Uh, we need to adjust a few things here. I'm um, just basically going over the, the textures again just to kind of make it uh, glisten a little bit more. I'm using a alternate shade for the ore. So it's the same shade, but um similar to the um what do you call it so i was happy with this end result so we could start moving on to adding it to the recipe all right so the next thing that i needed to do was actually set up the block so i'm going to create a block first and we're going to call this pure coal ore uh, we might be able to give a little bit more actual ore uh, from the drop and enable silk touch and all that other or not silk touch um enable the um what do you call it uh fortune for it um i'm not sure if we can get silk touch from it we might be able to do that uh later on in a future update or video but i wanted to make sure that the properties for the hardness and res resistance were the same as regular ore and that it requires a wooden pick to actually mine so it's basically what I was setting up there, so it requires a wooden one. And then what we needed to do was check some of the properties. And I wanted it to... Um, actually, I don't want it to do that. We'll run it through a loot table instead. And uh, we just need to get that particular um, uh, registry name. And we'll set that up into the... Uh, loot table so we'll save that for now and uh, we'll just make sure that that properties are set up and we'll just um, go over the settings to make sure that it's the same as stone for the most part and then what we'll do is we'll make sure that the properties on both of these and we want the um, ore to generate in the biome so I'm going to use the triangle or generation. This will make it more rare towards the tops and bottoms of the generation, but um, more common in the center of it. So things like if you set the height to 128, there'll be probably hardly any up there. Uh, if you do it to negative 30 or negative 64, then there'll be hardly down anything down there. But in the center of that, there, there will be more common amounts of ore. So we'll set that property there. We can close out of that one. And let's move on to actually setting up this tag. So I just want to quickly make a tag for that drop. And then we're going to basically paste in the registry, make sure that it's on mod and blocks. And then we can finally set up the resource. And I want to have it uh, drop anywhere between um, five and three or at a time. So we can set some of these other properties up down here um we'll we'll get into the, uh, the silk touch later on in a future video but we wanted to enable fortune all right so let's uh save that and testing a game what we have is uh our bushes so those bushes are doing good and then if we go down into the cave system we can kind of see that there is uh some ore down here uh let's see if we can't see yeah you can kind of see the animation for the um uh, the block um, kind of glistening a little bit so that's pretty cool I wish you could add like lights and stuff like that uh, to the ore so it would basically kind of actually shine 
Um, but uh, sadly, Minecraft's very limited with the uh, light lighting effects and stuff like that. So it is dropping about four, three to four or per block. I just wanted to see how much we can actually get from one vein. We might need to adjust the um, how much spawns in a group so it's not as overpowered. But uh, given that you have to kind of dig underground in order to get to the ore, uh, it should be kind of balanced but uh yeah it looks pretty balanced for the most part if you are new to my channel uh consider subscribing and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out